just getting excited about the rain. Uh, this was in Pikes Peak. Recently. Yeah, this is uh, today. today. Today? Yes. And so this is really cool to get these pictures in. Yeah. Uh, this is from one of our sister stations in Colorado Springs. Uh, where they saw snowfall in the Pikes Peak area. So a sign that winter is near. Yeah, no snow in our area here in Northeast Oklahoma, but we are dealing with some rainfall. And as we take a look at radar, we're going to be tracking rainfall moving across Northeast Oklahoma. You can see large area of showers from southeastern Kansas, Ponca City, Bartlesville, Tulsa down to Bixby with some moderate showers uh, moving towards the Broken Arrow area. Moderate rain from Edmond to Guthrie and Stillwater. Tahlequah, you're going, okay, where's the rain, Mike? Yeah, it's just to your west, so a few little sprinkles, but the moderate showers eventually will move in probably about 8 o'clock, down to south, so about 9 o'clock. We can see that with future track radar. It's taking its sweet time moving east, but eventually it will. So by 9 o'clock, far eastern Oklahoma, southeastern parts of the state will finally start to see the rainfall. Here in Tulsa, we're still going to see it rain through the 10 o'clock hour. So nice little soaking rainfall event for us. We need it. And so does Northern Osage County, Southern Kansas, Cherryville, uh, the Coffeyville Independence area. You need the rainfall as well. Uh, this will be on the southern end of the Oklahoma Kansas border. So as you head further north, you'll start to see those showers begin to dissipate, unfortunately. Now look at the temperatures across the central United States below normal for this time of year. Yeah, seeing a nice little cool down, which we will take compared to the heat we've been dealing with last week. And just thinking last Friday when I last worked, it was hot, it was humid. Luckily, not the case uh, now. And with clouds and chance for showers, that's going to help keep temperatures down. Next chance rain, widespread rain would come in on Thursday. Rainfall totals, including to, uh, this evening's, and then again on Thursdays, we're going to look at about three quarters of an inch to an inch of rainfall across eastern Oklahoma. We will take anything we can get at this point in time. Temps will be held uh, down considerably, especially compared to the past couple weeks. No more 90s for the next seven days. Not to say we're done with the 90s just yet, but at least we're not going to see excessive heat return to us here in East Oklahoma. Lower 80s for your Saturday and Sunday. Right now it's wet outside on our Wade's RV weather camera ne network. Cloudy skies. You laughing over there on me on Caden? Absolutely not. It's, it's Monday. It's just my tongue is just not ready to go just yet. 70 degrees right now in Tulsa. Doing fine. North winds at 7 miles per hour, 90% humidity. It's damp and it's going to be a, still a few sprinkles in the area tomorrow morning. Lower 60s by 5 o'clock. Temperatures in the upper 70s with partly cloudy skies. A 10-day forecast. Upper 70s Wednesday. 70 on Thursday with chance for showers. Kaden, Friday is going to be so, so much better than what we've been doing for the last couple of Fridays. Got that right, buddy. And Saturday for OUTU. There you go. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. All right, uh, speaking of OU, Jeff 